Don't you smoke vapes? Don't you get tired of running out of vape juice, batteries, vape cartridges, oils, tips, whatever you need to smoke vape? I know you like smoking vapes. Go to AveBay.com. They will make sure you have all of your vape necessities, chargers, USB plugs, whatever you need to get your vape on. I'm here to help, baby. My name is Carlos Miller. My whole mission is to keep the party going. That's why I had to tell you about abay.com. I'm telling you, to all the people who got to, like to blow vape and be on YouTube, and all, come on, man. abay.com for all your vaping necessities. I, come on. Go now. Tell them Carlos Miller sent you. And use the code SOUTHCHO. $10 off your first order. Free shipping. Come on now. Come on. 50 posts. Yeah, it's going to go. That's not a lot, though. Come on. Do it on here. Once they was talking like you, my wife told on Black Ink. Who? I know. The nigga Forrest Girlfriend. She was like, I got a secret. I got a secret. (laughs) That nigga nigga done sent a whole naked video to a bitch. She busts in like, I have something to she tell like, you. Oh, that was that clip I saw. Yeah, nigga, that nigga oh, did so like, but look, he did like this when he was naked. He showed his taint. I said, bruh. Bruh. When, you, when, you, <laughs> when your girl showing you some news you sent to another girl, <laughs> the nigga was looking like him. That nigga did like this. He it thought was, about yeah, it. He said, it was looking he at said I was like trying that. to set up a threesome. She said, call the bitch now. That nigga said, no. <laughs> <laughs> No. That nigga said, no, I can't do that. B. Simone, if you saw your nigga and sent a video of his taint to another bitch, you gonna stay with him. I don't even want to see a nigga of my, I mean, a video of my nigga. I don't like that. Like, who does that? What grown nigga so show stupid. video like you, you check out the bod? Don't do that. <laughs> Come on, bod. <laughs> but no. if you saw that your nigga sent a video of his taint to another know. bitch. I don't even I would just be frazzled. Frazzled. <laughs> she was, like, so happy. I was like, oh, he finna, nope. I thought he figured his ass. He said, I found a video. <laughs> said, my wife said, the girl is doing B. Simone right now on TV. B. Simone, you uh, a celebrity. You need to charge stop. these niggas, B. Simone. How? I, I can't know. stop people from using my tongue. <coughs> no, it's a cadence. It's the, <laughs> you got to do a song in that cadence. The whole song just got to be that shit. Like, What's up with the music career? You just said, fuck yeah, that. You're you a comedian now. We was listening yes. to my bag yesterday. You don't even come on stage to Blueberry Rain or nothing. <laughs> do you <laughs> not <laughs> fuck with you musically? In my bag? What the fuck? Weekend. Well, you need to catch up right in quick. My bag, Before got we in even my shuffle get yesterday. started, B. Simone. Tell us Are about we your... Are recording? Your, yes. Oh. This is the intro. Side. They've been recording since we walked in the door. Come you, on, you man. You tripping. So dig this. No better. How are you liking your new career as a comedian? It's so it's stressful. Amazing. It is, right? <laughs> is so it more stri- stressful I'm than s- being a musician? Yes. Wow. Being a musician is easy. Damn being right. Being a comedian is not. Especially if they like your song. You can sing that yes. bitch every night. <laughs> five the, times the in a row. The audience can sing Run that bitch you. back. Yeah. They <laughs> like my song. Because I can sing. Like Duval. He got, that nigga best life. Seriously. Like, oh, that that nigga, my best life. That nigga, best life that nigga just opened out. up for Beyonce and hey, Jay-Z. You know I what? Like, Price went up. You know why? Because that nigga made a happy song. It ain't been a happy song. And so long. There we have been songs that, that made us happy. We but there were no songs song sure. that have been aimed specifically at our happiness. At happiness. Made a nigga appreciate their own shit. Yeah. Living your best life. I My like man said song. it at church. It was a dude. Uh, y'all know the rest. <laughs> what is Is that beer? Yeah, it's Modelo. Modelo. That's Why crazy. Have that Shout out to Lil Duval. And, uh, Lil Duval's a legend, bro. He a started the social media shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas won't give him his credit. He, he's one of the yeah, pioneers of the he's so funny. get yourself out there, promote your own shit. Fuck these right. niggas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't get their credit. That's the that's the new wave. Not giving motherfuckers their credit these days. Hey, I'm, I'm the merch nigga, so I'm just going to say it. I, I'm taking my own, <laughs> I'm going to take my credit back. Take, so your shit, take baby. my credit. Oh, look, they got so many bootleg blessed as fucks no, out seriously. here. No, seriously. It's like a group of soccer moms that be doing yoga and shit. I be trolling like, look, bitch. Now it's everything Appropriation. is fucked. Yoga right is fucked. It's everything. Yeah, man. We did. We working on it. We get. We getting it together. I got some new shit dropping too. I got the. I got the beanies, the roll up beanies, like Chico Bean be wearing. Oh, perfect you know for the saying? winter. Yeah, like niggas is. Hey man, I need you need seven streams of income, man, to make it out of here. Facts. So you did. Yeah, yeah, I'm about so. two short. <laughs> That's why I'm starting Too a cosmetic string. line coming soon. Hey, I see you with this Chanel brooch on Wild and Out. First though. of all, this is not real Chanel. But whatever though, it's your shit. <laughs> Let's well, not your get shit. it fucked up. But it's, see, that's the thing about yours. being popular slash famous. Don't nobody even question your shit. They're like, oh, this be Simone. They, they don't have to question it because I put it out there before. When I was selling these, I was like, I got these from China. 
The real ones are at Chanel for six hundred. Mine are thirty nine ninety nine. So you saw you, a market. You you too? You she had the shit on TV though. That's only. the. That's what I was proud. Of. I was like, yes, merch, nigga. <laughs> First of all, I mean, I gotta say this really? on the eighty five South show because I I had this, I called this shit. B. Simone is the ultimate hustler, bro. She you is. Bro, she was on Wild and Out. Word. Dipset. Came back to Wild and Out. On Wild and Out. Got kicked off. Come right? on, man. They didn't Can't, kick me the out. ultimate hustler. And killing it. Got it all came back it. as a favorite. Like, Come on. They go crazy. The only person they go more crazy is Zoe. They love Zoe. God damn it. I'm no, like, he could just walk I out and know. they scream. I, if I hadn't seen him on my own eyes, I was like, he funny, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what I saw, yeah. I was like, oh, this nigga. They is big. love him. He's and his big. fan base is so diverse. Yep. Can y'all always do Wild Out in Atlanta, please? I just want to. If know. y'all have never been to a live Wild and Out, nigga, the green room is a movie. <laughs> it's a party. And and I heard that wasn't even the most lit green room. Y'all was like, nah, yeah, that ain't no. even really what we be doing. I'm no, like, no, the what? one in New York was better. It was like, it's way bigger. It's like an elephant back there. Fucking. Yeah. It's like, all got, but that's the thing. You walk in that bitch, you don't never know who in there. Who's going to be in there, yeah. Just, nigga, that's. Nigga. Yeah. Right. I'm talking about I was in there and Nick DJ. I was in that bitch like. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, do love shit. don't cost a thing in here. DJ in his ass. Party oh, every day. All like, he day. was good, though. Yeah. And it starts as soon as we get there, at like 9, 10 in the morning. But and that's the problem, because by the end of the season, we're like. Nigga, be quiet. <laughs> We're sleepy. Hey, I got to say how much I respect y'all for that. Because y'all is like pit bulls in there. Y'all have to be animals at all times. At all times. And I was in there looking like, day, yeah. and I was in there like, you guys have to be this mean to each other all the time. Like the, the goddamn. I'm like, yo, this is a lot. But yeah. I respected it, though. I was like, this is a, this is like football training camp. Y'all, y'all wasn't fucking around at all. Yeah. So. Right, bro. And then people were like, do y'all rehearse that shit? Nigga, ain't no time to rehearse. Yeah, nigga. Nigga, every time you see that shit, it is what it is. If you fuck it up, you just fucked it up. First ain't no all, coming back. They're not going to say, they not gonna say, hey, you fucked up? Hey, y'all, act like he didn't fuck act up. Act like he didn't fuck up. They're, they're never no. going to do that. They're going to be on to the next one. You just fucked up. You yeah. got 13 other people that's ready to cut your head off. <laughs> Come on. All time. They hope so you stressful. fuck up so they can do their shit. You know how hard it is to do a show by your goddamn self? <laughs> <laughs> but first of all, you know how hard it is to do stand-up alone, right? <laughs> y'all no. got to do stand-up and rap. Can you imagine? But the, the pressure is, can you imagine 22 motherfuckers behind you like, go and fuck up so I can get this one off? Yeah. Hey, look, look, nigga be ready with a move. Niggas a dance step out to the middle. I'm like, yo. Shout out to Radio Big Mac. He just put it down for big niggas. I ain't know. I was like, this nigga didn't yeah, split? Yeah, yeah, fam. I gotta Bro, they got to bribe my shit somebody up. for everybody on Wild and Out yeah. these days. They That's have dope. everybody covered, mm-hmm. my nigga. I'm telling you. Look, Cortez been getting off. Yeah, I've been watching. Like, I'm, this is season, funny. I'm watching. This shit fun. Like, I, I've watched all the time just because y'all was on there. But, like, I'm like, nigga, did my shit record today. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> did my yeah. DVR record, bro. I'm, like, angry about it if it didn't record. So, yeah, y'all, that, that Atlanta, y'all should never move that shit from Atlanta, bro. I appreciate I fuck, that, man. I fuck Coming with that shit. Atlanta. When the white boy got D.C., Get your goddamn! I'm yeah. saying, yo. Boy, <laughs> shout out to Matt I Trick. cannot believe they had me go up against DC. I was so oh fucking my scared. God. Oh, you was on them though. You you held your own though. I first said, of all, I don't roast. That's the first time I've ever roasted in my life, <laughs> ever. Right. Like I don't do that. I never it's used amazing. to roast because I didn't want to get roasted. So I used to stay out of that shit when I was a child. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, How you avoid getting roasted? Walk away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My mom's a what? I'm out. <laughs> Seriously. I'm leaving. I'm not here for it. I nigga. used to be. I, that was the Beast shit. Simone what? challenge is the best shit on Oh, yeah, earth, the Beast Simone tone challenge is live now. How I just put it down today. I mean, out today. How does it go? Oh. You just have to do my tone. Carlos like started it. Her cadence. He's on my page. Do Are it. there no baby wipes here? We don't do no baby wipes. <laughs> but the Beast Simone tone challenge, you can't just be like, Talking in the tone, you have to be like explaining something. Like it's a, it's great. You have though. to talk. Like, the funniest about shit is niggas w- watching niggas do that shit is so fun. <laughs> like you get in a wormhole on Instagram real easy, and you get in an argument with your wife because you on the to- oh. on the toilet <laughs> yeah, too long. Like, everybody, everybody has yeah, I'm a on wife. the toilet like this shit crap. <laughs> yeah, everybody got a wife. I told you, didn't me? I told you, nigga, be flexing, bro. Told you, man, stop capping on me, my nigga. Everybody ain't blessed. Right. You blessed as fuck. Out, I, the whole time you've been stunning them. I get it now. 
this nigga here. <laughs> Shout, it's about to be 14 years uh, in a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man. October 25th, nigga. man. You know that's what I mean? That's my nigga. Hey, welcome back to the 85 South Show, man. This podcast is for niggas who stay with their old lady the whole time. The whole time, The nigga. whole time. You know how many Jordan releases that equal, nigga? Nigga, that's, that's, that's a lot. at least 28. That's an argument every Jordan release. Come on, bro. <laughs> Some of them times she let you slide. She though. let me slide. Well, you got to have something else for her, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You got you know to hey, have man. another box. I brought you. You know you came in like a hood expert in a lot of things. I think people be sleeping <laughs> on your expertise. <laughs> You know, we're going to get back to that. Hello, B. Simone. B. Simone. Man, I'm so proud of you. You a fucking oh, gangster-ass hustler, baller, cap pillar. Hey, Y'all man. are so crazy. Stop. Hell yeah. When you make up line driving? Soon. Coming like soon. when? Like a couple months. Like, what's the those? day? I don't have it. I got to bring you to Athens. <laughs> you, when you come to Athens, they will fuck with, they fuck with you. Really? They'll be in Athens. Yeah. Let's go. We got to do a boyfriend tour in Athens. Please. Shout out to Darren. Shout out to Desi. Nigga, I'd be so happy seeing all my niggas on. That shit, I'm glad like, you mentioned that. Let's speak on. Where did this whole thing come about? The tour? With Desi. Then the whole videos and all of this. Um, this shit is turning into some classic hood <laughs> shit. Like, niggas is trying to like, bite I'm it, but not good. The Can we please do the video, Carlos? Yeah, don't spoil it. Don't okay, tell okay, them about okay. it. We're going to do it. You already know. Shh. Shout out to <laughs> Be Simone Productions. What's the name of your production company? Be Simone LLC. There it is. Can y'all do a whole movie though? Like Come I want to see you in Disney. Whole movie. We'll do an Insta movie. That's we did an Insta, Insta movie. That's only six. I I a part in the we got to do movie. sixty videos. That's an hour. <laughs> 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 we'll do the Instagram movie. No, that is hours. That shit a go. But if nigga, you, that shit is your whole. Niggas will sit and watch crazy. that shit. Like man, come I on. I never thought about that. Let's do it. Shoot that shit backwards and then post it in order. It'll go hard. It'll go hard. Somebody gonna steal the idea. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get recasted by somebody. I'll be like, Ronnie, you, <laughs> you try to get you. <laughs> hey man, get a hood nigga some uh we're gonna call this hood nigga wife advice, bro. Tell these niggas hood about nigga four benefits advice. of having like hood niggas don't know. Of having a wife? Well, of right. having a wife, you get to leave you can leave the club whenever you feel like it. You just really there to holler at your boys, you know what I'm saying? You know yeah. you know, some niggas is in there on the hunt mission uh, and it's real stressful. You sorry. really come to you did you burp <laughs> did you burp in the mic? <laughs> I That's to, yes. DC spirit in the room. <laughs> and he always burping the mic. Shout out she to my had, She like cuffed it like she was like. Ur, ur. I Why saw the people? episode. No, DC saw. just did the first episode. Ur, ur. That nigga was like, I don't know how Carlos do this shit. <laughs> that was the best part of the, the, no, This see, nigga's see. a genius. I don't no. know what the fuck this oh, okay. I don't give a fuck about half of this shit. That shit is hilarious, it's man. stupid. <laughs> I ain't mean to cut you off. That just the moment presented. Hey, itself. man. I can't be mad. So you can leave the club whenever you want. That's one tip. Man, if you don't get your goddamn, <laughs> get a simple the crow <laughs> water. Jesus, take us, take a, take a <laughs> drink your crow water. Some, you making me want right. to drink this didn't Callaway have shit? Okay. okay. Lead a club whenever you want to. You lead a club. You really have to smoke with your boys and just get a little social yeah, like we're time. We smoking now. This is your last. This is a club right. for me. Like I, I when I do my podcast, Modern Culture, I'm kind of hanging out, and but right. you're being productive, so right. You know what I'm saying? And like I said with the Jordans, some of y'all are sneakerheads and you in your thirties. Bring your girl some shoes, bro. Don't come in that bitch with just your shit. Right. Like, have some for the kids. You like you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have everybody fucked up Damn. and you fresh as hell. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you know, as a black father, you really don't supposed to have shit. You really just now, supposed to according supply. According to my daddy. Right. You really just supposed to supply everybody else dreams and futures. They Nigga, really my, hate to see my daddy black got a pair of Chuck Taylors. Have anything. My dad got a pair of Chucks he had before I was born. He still got them bitches. Like, don't throw them away. Them I, still, I feel still like good. Good. my baby mama got a spider sense. The ten, like, that sense when I'm happy. Like, if I be like, <laughs> what the fuck? The text came right through. What's Quit up? Something. They hate to see us happy, man. We can feel it. So, our swimming pool slide broke. Uh, the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck? That's what your baby mama hit you with. Man. The slide broke on the swimming pool, Carlos. Mm-mm. Uh, do something. Mm-mm. Figure it out. Let's figure it out. Right. Don't <laughs> never act like you're having fun. Bro. That's rule number one as a black quick, man. Quick. Don't never act like you're enjoying yourself too much. Yeah. I be Somebody having fun. I just tell. Up. My thing is, too, I don't lie about nothing because, like, they'll find out anyway. Like, bro, how you lie? With a motherfucker you live with. Right. It's a can't. lot of niggas out here fucking up. Like, no, they really. really they, am, they really be in bitches' comments leaving shit like their name ain't biased. Nigga. <laughs> like, we can see that. Nigga, everybody can see that. Everybody. You, most of the time, black women just don't want to look crazy, bro. Just don't make them look crazy. Like, niggas is out here sending whole videos of themselves to the bitch. Like, y'all. <laughs> like, you and your girl is a corporation, nigga. Like, would you let somebody in your business like that? Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta like look at that, it like. Nigga. I felt that in my real nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's your business partner. Like, do you want to get married, Carlos? I don't know. 
I'm I'm really at the age where I like I start adding up real shit. Like I'm a black man. I really probably got about. 17 more years left. You done 52. Stop. I'm not probably going to be out of here, man. Don't don't say that. I don't know if I'm ready to give a bitch my last 17, (laughs) nigga. I've been doing comedy for 14 damn years. I know how fast that shit go. It go quick. I'm 17 years in, bro. I don't know yet. Nigga, I'm I'm 17 years in, bro. Stand up. I should have got a wife. I started well, August 01. 11 months in. I think my soulmate might be in jail or something. Stop. <laughs> they say it's everybody for somebody, but then you got to think about everybody, it. They where, say it's everybody the fuck for somebody or somebody for everybody. They don't tell you where your everybody is, nigga. Yo, somebody. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Shit, somebody, some people, somebody is everybody. They trying all right. these motherfuckers on. Yeah, niggas out here going bad on Instagram and everything. Like Snapchat, niggas is getting a false sense of like I don't even be able to You can't that record no the shit. I, I don't. Even, I never knew how to work it, so I was like, Oh, so that's where you want to take this? Or let me tell you, this podcast is for niggas out here who trying to fuck something. Niggas with no standards. You want something. You trying to leave with something. You dragging Whether out that motherfucking a one beast. or a ten. You dragging that bitch out nigga of the club. Nigga fucking something. Those type of niggas out there. And they listen like that. to this show. You be like making somewhere in Savannah and a nigga would just be like, man, just hold up one minute. You like, bro, ain't nothing in here. Like, right. I just got to take something down. Something. He like, bro, you could have uh, just jack off. That's bro. really how you. Hey, yeah, that's another tip. Just jack off, bro. Like, if you th- come on, man. If you think you need that bitch that, that bad, just go jack off twice and see if you still want to fuck That's how you her. know the bitch code. If you jack off and you still want to fuck her, that's a sign. Is it a sign? Hell What's that yeah. mean? That means that you really like her. Well, you got to jack off again, then. <laughs> just to see. <laughs> is yeah, it so worth you, it? Some niggas, so you know you how much niggas you won't have no lose? dick to offer her when she do shit. Right, up. so you got the motherfucker that do, the lift it up. You should know what the lift it up. Nah, you like, can't, can't be can't jacking off. You can't be showing up with an empty dick, bro. Don't believe, don't believe that. <laughs> don't, I would twice, never bro. tell real niggas to do that, bro. You never know. You won't you even might show up. You'll be like, this shit cool, bro. I'm straight. Yeah, just don't go. Because you don't know what the atmosphere done lined up. She might have She might have hit you with the, today was that day. She ovulated, nigga. Your skin glowing. You been yeah. man, I'm telling you. Sometimes But do you want that? Did you want her to be out of lane? You trying knows? to knock her down? Who knows? You never they don't know. know how you feeling? You never know when your number gonna be called to get well, some of that. Just pussy. before you fuck one of these uh, uh, random chicks, just look at your balance first. No, then, the trick yeah, is account balance? No, yeah, the look trick, at your account and then say The trick Can is, I go without all this? No. <laughs> the <laughs> trick <laughs> is to fuck them with a condom, bro. No, That's the trick a, is to not cheat. No, it's and we nobody even cheese, said we in, a, in about relationship. We talking about random pussy that was because oh. you know the, now it's not like, it's nothing. You know now what? It's more world. It's like I'm random. tired. Of, I'm tired of picking who I like and going through the motions. I like this nigga. He, I just want to give him some pussy. Sometimes it happens. Trust me. Now I can't. I can't dispute that. Like if you single and you out here, and she you wants you to pull up. You right. gotta pull up. You got like, to pull up. You got to pull up, Carlos. You like, got to. You got to bring the deck. You got to bring quality deck. You like have to, man. Yeah, don't not, jack out twice if you left hand. So if anybody nah. see this and they see me throw it like a bitch, that's because I'm not left handed. I I had to, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all know how to cure razor burn? Yeah, stop shaving with the razors. You a black woman. <laughs> yeah, you got to put yeah. a hot towel too after you shave too. Yeah, stop what doing does that, that shit. You've you been using all these goddamn little pink razors and shit. It's not, I don't use the pink ones. I don't know. I could tell by the way you burp that if you don't <laughs> shave, you're going to have a nigga on <laughs> <laughs> you not the most girly bitch. My armpits do look like burp this. tone let you know what yeah. it is. Yeah, look at it. Oh yeah, that's them girls who be fighting at the, at the <laughs> But stove. see, that's why I be having I mean, to look at her fight because she do slides. shit like that to let me know Almost. she got good pussy. She show up with the goddamn fake fur shoes on. <laughs> First of all, these are real. That's classic. These are real bitch meeks. Shit. <laughs> You do look like you can drive a, real a box meeks Chevy. and a fake Chanel. Ain't shit about you, <laughs> except your attitude. Did I get here in the real I do weed? Have this is the real nigga. Weed, this is like the truth. Nails. But I fuck with you. My body's real. I know that. So bro. say that. Your body real. And what? And your fucking ears. <laughs> you got real ears, my nigga. You real looking here? Bro. What the fuck uh, going on in the world, man? Hey, man, I was on like three TV shows in one day. Yes. I was just glowing that. Oh, my God. Y'all can say I'm capping, but well, God damn it, show. it took a long time. Bro. True TV. And then my um special dropped on stars. Come on, this, come man. on, you know come on. Saying? So yes, we have yeah, specials. We got thirty minute specials we on have stars. Half hour stars? Specials Shot, when Kevin Hart was saying wait, he's wait, producing wait. other people, he's talking about us. He's talking about us. 
He Wait, gave us our own special. Stars yeah. is an app like Netflix, right? No, Stars it's a is network. a channel, the network like oh, HBO. On cable. Yeah. But there oh, is I don't an app. Have cable. You don't have cable. Wait, is it are y'all on the app? Yeah, you yes. can get the app. Yes. Oh, I, I think I have it. Click yes. the app, click on yes. series, click on That's Funny LOL, and you'll see yes. Robert Powell, Billy Stand Up Special? Carlos yes. Miller, myself. What? Yes. Yeah, it's yes. it's happening. When did yes. this come out? Recently. Uh, Recent. My shit just dropped Friday. And then I was on True TV Recently. Thursday and Boss of Thursday. That's why I don't have no opinion about this shit. Yours I, is out I, now? Mine is out right now. I'm like just trying it. to get my name out here. I'm, that's it. Shit. Then why I can't weigh in on shit? I'm like, it's like I don't your mom and daddy. In. It's like your uncle and them fight. That ain't even our that's fight. That's family business. You don't ain't. That's hey, family business. I'm finna go over and drink. Y'all stay out of that. Because they're going to be cool tomorrow and you done been in talk some hey, shit. Hey, one thing about family, they'll whoop your ass for jumping in the right. <laughs> i tell you that and much. That's a real thing. I don't have no opinion about that. What They talking about some million dollar shit. What I look million like. Million dollar shit. What I look like throwing my little 7,000 in the argument. Right. They ain't got shit to do with me. For real. No, I'm just bullshitting it. People hear seven thousand like, Lord, you straight? You need something? You good? Uh, you straight? We bro? can't even talk hypotheticals no more without niggas getting hypothetical. This is nigga doing a whole rundown of your whole money history come now. On, just, bro. Nick, come on, man. According to my calculation, bro, nine seasons later, <laughs> while in that hell date, who got joke? You were on hell date? Yes, he was on hell date, hell nigga. Day. Veteran. Hell date. Nigga wanna go on hell date. Hell date. Hell <laughs> <laughs> Key was on Nailed that thing. bitch. I Re- love Remo that was show. on that motherfucker. Wait, what did you do on Hell Day? The little dude they had that they couldn't read. They put him on the big ass <laughs> stool. <coughs> Hello, Hell, Hell the Raiders. It's my bad. My bad. I used to be thinking other little people looking Man, at him like that. It used to take him so long to read real. his part. My bad. <laughs> Nigga, it's not the cough. You can't read. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your throat, bro. <laughs> you don't need it. Can I get a T? It's not the T. It's the words. It's, it's the, the letters. Giving you it is a composition of no, literature that is confusing you, young man. The words are giving you trouble, fam. Damn, bro. Shout out to Lorel. Oh, Tip your head shit. Shout out to Eric, bro. Shout out to everybody. This nigga's working out here, Darren. The fuck is they arguing for? Chico, DC. It's Nick Clayton English. Nigga, I, niggas is out here working. Facts. Bro, you don't know. Leonard Oots got a show on motherfucking NBC. Nigga, I went, that nigga set is on motherfucking Wisteria Lane, nigga, with a desperate. I was out there business. I'm like, just going to tell all the comedians right now. Don't wait till I get successful to let me know how you feel about me, goddamn. Right, right, for sure. Tell me this weekend. Right. I need to know now. So when you say it again, I know that like, oh, that nigga been said this yeah. shit. Well, I'll tell you even more. Not just because you you, you the one who brought me to my, like, you know, in, in comedy, you're going to have, like, levels and stops and falls and shit in your career. So I was doing a bunch of colleges, and I remember sitting with your ass. you like, bro, fuck with me. Jeff, fuck with me. <laughs> fuck with me, Ronnie Joe. I'm like, nigga, yeah. He was like, watch what I'm And I just basically took that, like, watch what I'm doing. Get it in a mix with these young niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you said a lot when you just said fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I appreciate this nigga. So, like, because you get you get tired of doing colleges. You get tired of them. I like doing them, but it ain't like I'm just, they want me to come. I'm just booking the shows at right. the showcase. So, it's they like. They was going to come and show they wasn't, no, whoever was there. Right. And yeah. then they, like, I'm not, while I'm doing the colleges, nobody, they didn't know me in the comedy clubs. So I had to, took, I just said, look, yo, I'm going to just open for niggas on the weekends just to get my face back out in the mix. So you helped me get back in the mix, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, fuck the that whole, shit, nigga. You Ronnie George. You say this shit. I was like, nigga, you Ronnie George? What the fuck but you want? Yeah. <laughs> but then this, hey, but you don't be knowing that when because you, you know the club niggas is like, ah, are you gonna sell out? I don't know. But yeah. see, this the so, thing so though. Stressful. This is what I, I like. I always study motherfucking like comedians, and he'll tell you like he seen when I had seven rooms. I had room every night. He'll tell you I had a room every night, comedy right. room, mm-hmm. right? Every single night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But he was doing material in yeah. the Ratchet his hood and shit. In the strip club type shit. Like, not even just like, what's up, give it up for this. Nah, that nigga would do a full punchline, set up punchline, knocking shit down. So other niggas could do material. That's a big difference. Like, if your host doing material. Man, I'm talking about what a gangster niggas on the south side were like, hold up, bro. Let little buddy know. Let that nigga talk. (laughs) Let that nigga talk, man. He ain't doing shit but telling his joke. Fuck, nigga, man. Be (laughs) quiet, boy. Yep. Man, that shit was wrong, bro. But what I'm saying, bro, you got the type of, you the type of comedian. Where you could go anywhere and do that shit, and that's how you know the game is real. When you can go to the hood, when you can go to the white, white college, people, yes. when you can go to the HBCU homecoming, then shoot back and do a bad boy set, then come and do yeah. a late night so uh, Monique show. Yeah. Like, just I had to get hell. back in the mix when you and Clayton and was running around with all them rooms. Let's go bubble comments, man. I got these young niggas out here. Shot recipe, scope bubble. 
Ronnie, yeah, come fuck with day. us. Yeah, so like I be on, I was doing them colleges. I was gone a lot, but I had to make sure I was in the mix of what was going on in the city. Cause I was right. like, yo, these young niggas out here kidding it. Mm-hmm. Cause like y'all had a good stage, like niggas with a good stage, motherfuckers fly in and like nigga. I don't, the comedy club was cool, but where the shit at? Like Corey Hogan would always pull up. You know what I'm saying? This nigga getting forty it's twenty thousand a, a show. He just it's a, a lot of follow. motherfuckers yeah. who will pull up. Niggas, Mike, Mike, Mike pull, up. pull up anywhere. Cat to pull up. Cat you never up know when you'll look out and see the sprinter out there. He did. He does his room. That nigga just come in that motherfucker looking for. Because niggas know the shit. And all the good shit in the world starting to hood. See, that's yeah. the thing, though. Even <laughs> like when big name comedians come, even when on the come up, they would always come by my late night spot. Yeah, after Even if town. they performed the night, it just gave the room a certain validation where the people who were there was like, okay, this yeah. is not a comedy club, but this is where the real comedians are. We got a classic rose right now on YouTube with Corey Holcomb and Smoke and all us just all fucking of, around on Carlos, Carlos' birthday. I'm man. surprised y'all still had that footage, nigga. That shit crazy. Yeah, man. I can't nigga. wait till I get as good as y'all. We, we, we work. good. You already got a kid. You got you the good stuff. You had it. got the stuff, job. kiddo. Stop. I'm I watching you from that. afar. I know you got it. Man, we seen you. People, don't come, laugh if at people that. coming out. I had a baby Simone do a show a year ago. She was like, I don't know. I was like, I appreciate that, too. You threw me on stage. Shout it. What the fuck? You good, man. Bring your ass. Scared. I was like, I was okay, like, I'm gonna do three minutes. <laughs> any Instagram comedian, if you think you can't do it, just try it one time. You'll know. Cause you fuck, will know. Do your best post. Do your full best post over on stage in a joke form, and then you'll know or not. You know what I'm saying? What's the hardest part to you about doing comedy? Stand up. Yeah. Um. Like your set damn near changes every show. You like, you might to. have the same stuff, but the improv and, like, you never know how people are going to react to the joke. Yeah. It's just not consistent reactions. That's what scares me. Mm-hmm. Like, if you rap a song, you know you're going to rap the same exact lyrics oh, okay. every time you <laughs> rap the song. Nothing is going to change. Not the ad-libs, not the verse, right, not right. the hook. With the joke, it just, it's not, it changes. It's so fucking scary. I got sick my last show. I threw For up real? before I went on the stage. You're very emotional. But did you kill you it, though? After you did I that. killed it. I know you it. killed it. That's, some niggas throw up before the football game. I fucking like, threw up. I was like, this is too much. Like, I can do fucking hair. I don't need to tell jokes anymore. <laughs> there it go. I was like, oh, my God. Just, there it when go. When is this going to stop? Shit. Pressure make diamonds, shout Come on, man. Yo. Come that on, shit man. was scary as fuck. Not, but see, I always, that's the one time in your life where I really just talk shit. Like, people get nervous before the show. <laughs> that's when I really flip the whole script and be like, man, it's really my show. <laughs> These motherfuckers came to see me. I try that's to what do I be that, thinking. I'd be like, right. and then I'd be like, <laughs> they don't even know. They don't even know. Right. They about to get fucked up. I'm about to be the one who fuck them up. Ah, oh, they giggling. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. They right. they asking me to do it. They gonna laugh at this shit right in front of me. These disrespectful motherfuckers. I try to <laughs> okay, do that. you like that? Watch this. Pull the meat out. Yeah. Y'all niggas been doing this shit for fifteen years though. <clears throat> That's the whole approach I take to the stage, That's Joe. Pull approach. the meat out. You gotta pull the whole meat out, bro. Meat pull to meat. The meat out. All right. Is it the same kind of nerves now as it was back in the day? <laughs> no. They're, they're, what, to different. me, it's like you get more anxious though, but like, cause everybody recording the shit. So, to me, it's like, eh, I get nervous right before, but I'm like, nigga, you Ronnie, like, I got you, nigga, you Ronnie, what the fuck you talking <laughs> so about? So I show up. You see that, right? I show up on this nigga's shoulder, nigga, you Ronnie Joe. <laughs> nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Carlos pop up on my shoulder. Come like, on, Black man. smoke there, boy. What the fuck? Pull your up chain out, nigga. Stop bullshit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> put all your shit on, bro. You worked hard for this shit. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, man. That's the crazy part, man. I, I'm really seeing the difference. Like, people, when they come out to see you, they expect you to have certain shit. They expect you to be like, bro, where you chain at? Yeah. Like, nigga, ain't got no I fucking chain. I don't fucking chain. Like, like, what's Damn, the question? You ain't you doing bad? Like, no. I'm just not a chain ass. I get, I get big dudes asking like, what you So, where you, uh, you get a jacket, man? <laughs> I'm starting a consulting firm. I'm gonna get all big niggas fresh. I know all the spots. I get interrupt the this program <laughs> to let you know the all people right. who watch this show that we know that you know who the podcast is for. You see how I made it poetic? That was great. Okay, this is a segment amazing. that I created called oh, segment. This is Podcast is for. Yeah. This is a podcast for, and these people have taken their observations to let me know that they know who the podcast is. So these are a few that were sent in 
by some of our viewers. Are you guys ready to We're go ready. on this funky expedition? Have us on the edge of our seat. Now, one thing about the 85 South research team is they don't always credit exactly where the source is from. Some of these are from YouTube. Some of these may be from Instagram. But just know. <laughs> if you hear us say the one that you wrote, there's no disrespect to you. We trying to put you on, but it must have been Chad because this nigga is a. Oh, nigga will be. You would be hot if you had a crib like, bro. What the fuck going on, me? So should I? Put sh that me though. Should I do him or no? <laughs> Man, yes, do him. make the people say it's theirs, but people might be lying. <laughs> hey. God damn, Chad. Hey, Chad. Chad, Chad like, bro. Look, he was early too. Was like, yeah, I got the printout ready. Okay, nigga. now look. This is one thing that I do want to clarify before I move forward with this. I see that every Friday, no matter, I don't know why y'all wake up and think we going to be up when y'all up. Like, bro, what the motherfucking show at? I'm about to leave the house to go to work. I need something to ride to work to it. Right. Bro. And then y'all start going in on Chad. Like, come on, Chad, you bullshit. <laughs> I don't want my man Chad to take that heat. It's Joe that you should be mad. Put it on okay? Joe. <laughs> Now look, Joe sitting over there letting Chad take it to him. Like, one, hey man, one thing know, about bro. Joe is he is light skinned, and the more you argue with him, <laughs> the later the show will be uploaded, <laughs> man. Sometimes he sees the comments, and and they're so aggressive, but he doesn't know that that's how we play as eighty five South percenters. Y'all upload a show. We every are eighty five percenters. You know what I'm saying? Every Friday, y'all upload a show. Uh, every Friday. No. Come on! I now. saw the one Tyler did is already out, right? Yes. Y'all ain't fucking around. We not fucking. We not missing a Friday, bro. I swear. This is like okay, a welfare when's, when's, check for the hood. When's the last time y'all missed a Friday? Never. Never. We have not nice. missed a Boy, Friday. Look, hold on, the whole since room looks started? so tried. They since like, we started, bro. Joe lying. went to McDonald's one time and that. uploaded the episode. <laughs> Y'all yeah. have never missed a Friday. We have never missed a Friday, ever. Since we started, <laughs> we don't miss Fridays around this bitch. This is a hood welfare check. Y'all need to check. start putting it's Friday. At no, the <laughs> we don't. We definitely don't. Okay, let me tell you who the podcast it's hot. is for. Okay, that's you know, who. I need a fan. All right. You got plenty. Okay, this podcast yeah, is here. for bitches that got that big old wolf pussy like Miss Pearly. <laughs> Early. From Friday. Next Friday. This oh. podcast is for niggas who sip Ciroc with the nigga who made Ciroc. Keep putting in work, fellas. Yeah. Big salute. Wow, that's that's, that's what I'm talking I like about. That. That's hard. Shit like that. That is lit. That's, if I wish you could have got your credit. Oh. Now look. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your friend, yo, my shit made. Yeah, uh, yeah. Who are you? Well, you can lie and say it's yours if you want a good conversation. Anybody starter. can say that. Okay. All right. Um. Somebody, see, look, we on the quest to be better people this year, and I can't even really, I don't even feel comfortable saying this Say word. Say it, anymore. Carlos. Because, no, because I've, I've been informed that this is a slur. Mm. <laughs> this podcast is for the big titty, let's just say, ladies who prefer ladies. <laughs> The big, we, titty lesbian? the big titty lesbian? See, I don't want that. No, it's a specific, lesbian is a slur? A lesbian a is not a slur. No, it's a specific kind, but we're not going to oh, use oh, That's yeah, a slur? But, yeah, I mean, oh, the, in the that, streets. I, I yes, think. yeah. They I've can been, say it, but we can't say it? I'm not even going well, to. What if you no, feel like a stud? I'm not. <laughs> I had a, I had a moment of clarity. I'm not going to participate in anything like this anymore. Okay, I'm yeah. not. Because I'm not going to risk everything that I worked for, and now you don't even know. What the fuck? Anything that you think is safe to call somebody, yeah, don't, even don't even say don't it. Do it. Got it. Don't say it. You can't say, uh, look, you know how many words are banned? You can't, yeah, yeah. You can't say stud, though? No, you can say stud, you just can't say dyke. Yeah. Okay, okay, I, I can see that. Right. Or the F word. See? Okay. It, it's already hard they enough. They used to say that on TV. The word that rhymes with maggot. <laughs> yeah, all of them. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm not, gonna say this, I'm not going to fall for the oh, easy shit. setup. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, you'll never get me with that one. Nah, man. So, yeah, we're not even going to participate. Um, let me see. This podcast is for niggas who pull up at a bitch house and she got on the mismatched socks with the puff in the back. Ready to fuck. Oh, my Jesus. Wow. What's the puff? The little balls the on little the back? The little balls on the back. Are the socks? The little yes. hood footies? Oh, my socks. God. That is no. some of the best pussy in the world. 
Come on, bro. I don't know what that is. I know exactly what that is. That nigga spoke to my spirit that time. Them the socks, they be in a gas station with <clears throat> a piece of cardboard up with the balls. They got balls on the back. I need to speak on this, bro. Hood lingerie. What's what is hood lingerie? lingerie? Oh, oh. Like basketball shorts and a bra? The little gray shorts that's like from Chelly yeah, when yeah. she was in like, and then yeah. she flipped the top up so you can see white. the white. Oh my God. No panties with the cheeks yeah. hanging yes. out. That'll do it. Yes. I That'll love those shorts. How about the old t-shirt where you can see the nipples through it? Yeah. Come on. It's like washed thin. Yeah. Yes. Yep. That is hood lingerie. Yeah. Right there. I love that. Come on. Come on. Come through with all of that. I was almost about to tell what what go on in my house. I stopped myself. Don't, hey, that ain't don't for everybody. Do it. Don't that is not for <laughs> everybody. That is not. Much love to all the ladies who were uh, wife beaters and the titty be slipping out the side. Off the side. Yeah. Oh my Jesus. Me and Tupac care. Don't nobody care. <laughs> Just know that. Okay, let me see. Uh, this last one. This podcast is for niggas who finally got themselves a car and denies everyone a ride who didn't give them one. The petty niggas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about niggas petty who niggas. so fucked up they can't even catch public transportation. God It's damn. either a ride from somebody you know <laughs> or don't go. Or you go. ain't don't going. Go. Or don't go. Nigga, you can't fill out a job application if they call you back in. You Come on, up. man. You ever needed a ride from a motherfucker who mm-hmm. stayed right by you, but they were like, nigga, I ain't even going home right now. <laughs> nigga, I quit a I'm job. I'm around with you. That's I quit a job and needed a ride. I'm like, fuck, y'all, fuck this shit. I'm out this bitch, boy. I had to sit over there in the break room. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, bring my goddamn mother call up here, buddy. He fuck nigga tried the shit out. Oh, you know, it Uber Friday's right Douglasville. <laughs> nigga, it was an Uber back come talk. you good? Nah, no, fuck that nigga Tony in that spot. I ain't prep, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> TGI Fridays, bro. That shit real. That shit oh got back God. in the soul. Where you used to work at TGI Fridays? TGI Fridays in Douglasville, right in front of Arbor Place Mall when I, went to, when I went to West Georgia. That's what's up, bro. And then I started doing comedy. Nigga, I was there when 9 11 happened. I was watching TV. Like, what the fuck happened? Damn, I remember that shit. I was man. in that bitch like Bro, I remember prepping. when 9 11 happened. They was like, go get some gas. They're going to shut all the gas pumps off at 5 o'clock. Nigga, we was in gas. We was in line long in the month. I was like, nigga, what the fuck is one tank of gas going to do? I don't know, but I'm getting mine. And then that's how they, tell you how they got everybody. They was like, we can't prepay the pump, so you just got to pay for however much you're going to get. And we don't got no change. Nigga, I know yeah. they got me. I was they got like, busy. Then you don't nobody know exactly how much it takes to need, fill your yeah. shit up. I had so. an 83 Monte Carlo, nigga. But the gas was like $2. One Come of them, on, like a one, 150 160 some shit. Crazy shit. It only takes $20. I just knew Jay Z Blueprint was coming out. I was bro, like, bro. That shit was crazy. Blueprint coming out. All right, man, much love to everybody who remember that or had to go through that or you connected to 9 11 in some kind of way. Because yeah. yeah, it man. had different impacts on different people. Yeah, I'm from Michigan. I was I remember, I remember coming because I had just started comedy, so. That next week, everybody had a, the dude on the plane joke about, you know, right. put your hands where I can see him. <laughs> Don't let you see that. Oh, I would have oh, got down. Ain't no way you could have did that with some black <laughs> Okay. The first thing who did that tore it down, nigga. I was like, everybody else, man. y'all tripping. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> It, that shit everybody you playing going to Detroit today that's why yeah. I always that's why I always <laughs> laugh when people say man I love to fly I'm like you don't do that shit enough you love the what to fly no people always say I love I to fly Dream had a good turbulence flight oh that, my god that turbulence shit <laughs> Look, she went into it. That turbulence shit will make you find your maker like, uh, uh, no, turbulence you will let you know <laughs> Turbulence will let you know exactly where your asshole and your stomach is connected at. If it, it show you, you can feel the spot where your ass, where the top, bottom of your stomach is, and the top of your asshole begins. Oh, they close. They right there together. I ain't know they. I had right turbulence so bad. I was in the back, very last seat of the plane. I was like, that bitch go down. I'm gonna be ready at the top of the bitch. Nigga. Like the nigga, it shook so bad. Like the lining of the bathroom, like the shit was coming to loose. I hate when there's turbulence nigga. and the lady don't come over shit. to the intercom and like comfort you. Nigga, one this time, way, put your seatbelts. Like, what the fuck is going on? We got on? a little chop up yeah. here coming up. You gonna be a little been choppy in weather. the little plane, nigga? Oh god! The and little, then they the cut the bitch plane? off. They gotta cut the bitch all the way off before it lands. Oh god! Then shit get real quiet. Like, ooh. This bitch is off. <laughs> then the shit come back on and oh, that, nigga, nigga, that's the worst. Yeah, yo, yeah, tight ass in the air, bro. When you when you walk when you have to go through there and you think you're getting on the plane, then you outside and you can just walk straight on the walk plane up like John no. F. Kennedy. Yep. Like don't put me on this old ass. <laughs> I, nigga, I think of that movie La Bamba. 
Nigga, like, if you, you get on the plane and like, that bitch got ashtrays on the seat, that yeah, plane old, oh, my nigga. It, that's an old plane. You, you, you used to smoke on that bitch, all that shit yellow, ain't no TVs on that bitch, no phone plugs, no yeah. Delta. Go to them small towns, though. They, that's all they got. <coughs> you land in Chicago and got to fly to fucking Iowa somewhere, bro. You got to get on that crop duster. That's why I don't with like With the propellers, you see the one with the propellers still on it? Oh, nigga. God, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Cut that bitch off. I can this screw, this dark wing duck shit. This got that launch pad, McQuack plane. I'm going to tell you one that. thing, though. I do so not scary. give no fucks. I am never I was flying a... on Sprint again. Spirit, <laughs> Spirit. Spirit. I said Sprint. First class Can a motherfucker look just like Sprint? Yellow and black. I believe they the same motherfuckers, <laughs> man. They dirty as hell. Yeah, I had so a Spirit plane. That they, I had them close the door right in my face and pull off. I was like. <laughs> it's a dollar for the flight, flight and the next 300 day, to buy, check your bag. Yeah, I had to buy another flight. The in $9 dollar fair club. <laughs> Man, I'm not fucking with y'all no more, bro. Y'all don't have no rules and shit. Y'all talk to people any kind of way. Right. I'm through fucking with y'all, Spirit. I'm through. You got to pay $40 more for the big seats in the front. Nigga. Yeah. And they so petty. They done put the small so little shit up there to make sure your shit don't fit. Then they try to talk some, oh, you your bag won't fit. You're going to have to pay $100. Why you bring this big ass bag? Uh-uh. Miss Lady. Because they'll get on every other plane. No. Right. I'm, I'm through with I y'all. Nigga, with I flew on a plane and Ricky Smiley was flying that bitch. You talking about somebody <laughs> Shut scared. Shut the fuck up, nigga. nigga I'm up. only flying Delta out of Atlanta. They act like they came to Atlanta just to get you. <laughs> I fuck with Delta, bro. It's always a pilot on the plane too. I'm just getting a jump seat, bro. It's Come like on, fucking man. great. Yeah. What you do? What do you do? What do you do? Why are you? You front? ever look what at a motherfucking lug- <laughs> luggage and be like, where the fuck did they go with that little bit ass bag? Yeah, How right. long are they? What are they doing? One day. <laughs> One, One day. In and out. Okay, bro. I fuck with y'all. I don't get to tell Thanks, y'all enough, Thank but y'all you, are some really. Great fucking people. You are too. Appreciate it, man. You are yourself, brother. Bro, you were on three TV shows at That's one so time. That's so cool. Hey, man. Fucking hard. Look, to long time to get here. Big get voice, nigga. You got a fucking makeup line. If you know all you Stop have to do to kill the game line. is to make that shit so it match bitch's neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did neck don't be matching, bro? No, first of all, that has like everything to do with the brand. Arm. That has everything to do with them picking out the wrong color. Nigga, my neck don't match in real life. That's what my bro. <laughs> Nobody says really. But I'm saying, if you if your shit if like if you take a picture and you can see like the makeup outline, that ain't the right shit. I'm tired of this. What's shit. up with the lady, the dark skinned ladies putting the whole white, the light skin face like? I don't, I don't know why know. they do in that. the third world country. They don't shit. know how. Uh, shout out to the Atlanta Falcons doing exactly what the Atlanta Falcons do. Are they oh, winning God. or losing? Lost the at the end, Come on, bro. bro. They always make you wait to the know, end. Thank you, Falcons, just for providing us with three good quarters of football. <laughs> I'm talking about the young boy was getting off today, too. What's his name, Randall? What, I don't 18? know nobody's name, He was bro. getting off. He Julio caught Jones. everything. Julio started busting. I know Devontae yeah. Freeman. I know Sanu. He hurt. Sanu, Muhammad Come Sanu. Come on, man. We got, like, three Pro Bowl receivers, bro. And, um, oh nobody to throw the ball to him. Come on, B. Simone. Yeah, don't man, be in here scratching man, your armpits, getting musty and shit. What's the word? Why Why, why are you so itchy? <laughs> I think I, I have razor burn. Oh, why? Man. You but use that dirty... You can't shave your pussy, then your arms. You got to use that one for the arms, one for your pussy. I don't shave down there. Well... I wax. There you go. Okay. I like how you covered that up, but th- th- we know your pussy got whiskers on it. They shave up they until it's about two more months. They shout go, out to DC. Stop for, he discussed this with uh, Brady on the last episode. What about what? They, pussy they were discussing sorry. pussy grooming and whiskers <laughs> and things of that nature. Vagina like, hair is not bad. It just it can't is, be out of control. It is definitely not. It can be very minute. I think vagina hair gives pussy personality. Character, yeah. yeah, it's character. It's like Jordans that ain't new, but Let you me know, see what that like you can't get them like. Jordans. Right. I know he wear them for real. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Much love to all, all the ladies who have creative vagina hair. Shout out to the early yeah. '90s coochies. Yeah. I feel like if you 90s. find a hairstyle for you and your pussy, you want some shit. It should go together. Pussy look like mocha stuff. Cause any pussy could be bald. Jade. Yeah. Smoking stuff. Yeah, All I'm 90s good. R&B group. Lady, lady R&B <laughs> group. Speaking of 90s R&B group, <laughs> shout out to some more of them. You remember? It was a lot of 90s R&B groups. Yeah. Like, Y'all remember uh, the Cheetah Girls? That, that's not an R&B we group. Old, I know we what older than you. That's TV. <laughs> we older than you. That's our little brother. <laughs> I, I was now. grown as hell. I was like, I wasn't the, what, my nephew now? I'm talking about my mind when I heard Cheetah Girls. What songs did they have that were that you remember? It was the girl Cheetah Sisters. 
How did it go? Sing the hook. <laughs> the more she say, the more I know she Cheetah had a great sisters. upbringing. <laughs> you had Disney Channel? <laughs> Y'all That's had cable? I love that song. What else? They had to have more than one. I don't remember any of them. You rest. know them, but I'm. You know them. Who? You know the songs. What song? The you Cheetah don't know Girl. Cheetah Girl. No, I don't. Songs? No, come if on. If I knew, I'd sing it. Well, fuck it then. Who else you were saying? SWV. Oh, man. They don't care. TLC. Get oh, yeah. It's going to get me, but they give me kind of wink. That's what they, you don't know none of the words, B. Simone. That is so disrespectful to be in Atlanta and not know no lyrics. She said the scrubs give with the gonorrhea. What the hell, verse? I do know the words. Let me tell you when I, me, me tell you when kind of I weak. fell in love with TLC. Hey, guys, do you remember the days when you were always ready to go? How about a little help to stimulate and increase your performance to give you that extra boost of confidence that you may need in the bedroom? Let me introduce you to BlueChew.com. Yeah, the first chewable pill for your male sex enhancements. Yeah, made with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. That's the secret to me fucking so good. If you want to fuck good, at least give yourself a chance. Why don't you go to BlueChew.com and order these pills right now? They're chewable. They're delicious. Like vitamins. And they make you fuck good. <laughs> Wait, was it? I can't remember if it was the fucking, fucking red dead. light special or the creep video. I think it, it was the, with the pajamas with yeah. the mid section. Yeah. Which one was that? Oh, it's creep. That's the one with T Boss Titty came out at the yep. end. Titty what, came out. Yes. No, it did not. That's Ronnie Jordan. Niggas know at the end of the video okay. when they going oh, oh, I, oh the shit the shit the blow, blue and the whole titty come out. It's and right nipple. Titty. titty, titty, and they put it in the video. Yes, on accident? the titty been in the video accident, since though? the video came yeah, it's out. Accident, yeah. The whole titty, the whole titty. People who watch the show gonna go watch it. The video now on YouTube. They gotta pause on this too. They gotta pause this and the say the titty TLC is out. Video. Freaky niggas, no. It's That's where I was at in my life. I'm like, don't, don't, like, don't discount me on this one. But you know that same, them same years. Remember, Janet Jackson had a poster. And she had and the she, person behind her? No, that one too, but I'm talking about what she showed her tattoo right there. She got a tattoo of uh, Mickey Mouse getting hair from Minnie Mouse. I don't remember that. Really? Because I, I had the poster. I was like, nigga. I did not. <laughs> Minnie Mouse grabbing his bitch ears, get his dick sucked. <laughs> what did you just do? My tip in was hurting. Took, you took your hair out? Wow. Great. Let me see. Carlos. Let me see. No. That's a real Ola Ray thriller texture. It was hurting. That's a Jerry Curl piece Damn. right there. <laughs> you gangster as hell. This it bitch hurts. got some. Soup. That's Ice Cube straight out of Compton wardrobe right it's there. Just put it in the back. Don't get it dirty. I won't. I just wanted to see the conversation. So, you, how you, so it comes like that or you got to make it do like I that? I made it. Oh, you, you make, make weave? weave? I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I've been doing hair for 15 years. I just retired last year due to comedy. Bought you, bags. That was a stunt. You a retired cosmetologist? Yes. Oh man! So That's... you can tighten up bitches at your show. Like you can need to do a pop up. <laughs> some more washing sets and a set <laughs> and a set. Washing sets during my set. You got to do Browner Brothers then for sure. That's man. What else do you do? do no, I'm you... talking about the comedy show Bro, or the hair you... show. First she do. She make weaves. She got mixtapes. <laughs> oh yeah, brooches. Do comedy. Who got brooches? I don't Piece have any brooches, my nigga. I want so down. Oh, you got sorry. a brist this fuck brooch. I need to make that for real. Man, look at these fucking comments. Somebody, Sharon Blue. Shout out to Sharon Blue. I love when people will risk their fucking job to fuck with us. He <laughs> said, Sharon Blue said, y'all trying to get me fired with this shit. OMG, the way Carlos looked at Mimi when she hugged slash choked him, people are staring at me. Emoji, <laughs> emoji, emoji. Who's Mimi? Emoji. Lovely from, Mimi from, from Love and Hip Hop. Oh, Shout out to crazy you, ass bro? Mimi. Yeah, bro. She picked DC up and carried him like a baby. <laughs> she twerked. She rapped. Mimi does it all. She's funny. Mimi Look, if you are drowning in credit card debt, you're about to hear an extremely important message. That credit card debt, I know, is not your fault. <laughs> Let me explain. Thanks to hidden fees and charges and interest rates and other tactics that credit card companies are using, it's costing you money. One CEO earned over a billion dollars, and another CEO earned over twenty-eight million dollars last year. Who's paying for this? You. Isn't it time that you fight back? 
You can get help from the good folks at Get Relief today. They have a new debt forgiveness program that allows you to get a large portion of your past due credit card bills or medical bills forgiven. Yeah, it's going down. Just like that, bitches. Want your debt forgiven? I know the people. Call them right now. Get your shit. 1-800-281-9833. 1-800-281-9833. That's what's up. Uh, what this shit say? This said the, the girl shine hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's her uh, screen name. The girl. The girl. G U R D U H. She definitely has an 06 Impala. D A G U L S H Y. How does anybody ever find your page? A R D. That's hard. The girl shine hard. <laughs> Ain't nothing like Carlos when he lit. No comedian alive can touch the boy when he's in the zone. That's a fact. I fucks with her. The girl shine hard. <laughs> Letitia Peters said, <clears throat> Just hilarious. Shout it out, Carlos Miller, doing her Breakfast Club interview. I can't wait until I get off to enjoy my favorite podcast. Shout out to Just Hilarious That's for dope. shouting me out. On the the, I saw Club. that. I love What Jess. did she say? She said, she said she's I'm my favorite out of all the people. Oh, yeah, on she said Wild you were her out. favorite on Wild and Out. And she yeah. fucks with the 85 South Show because, you know, we fucks with her the long way. Yeah. She was on Wild and Out, and then she left to go do Big and Better. I love things. her. I'm so proud of her. Me too. I'm proud of all my friends winning, bro. Everybody winning. We out here. We got Bossa. We, got we out here. Wild and Out. Shout out to Lil Real. His show about to come out. Uh, everybody out. Keenan got a new show. That's he dope. just won Who's an Emmy. Keenan? Much love to Keenan all them Thompson. black people who just oh. won Emmys. Yeah. My manager, Ricky, won an Emmy. She worked on the Dave Chappelle shit. Shout That's out so Dave dope. Chappelle. So there's so much dope shit going on in comedy. People arguing this shit. It's crazy out this bitch. Crazy. <laughs> Ronnie Jordan taking over all the TV shows, man. We just This really just a celebration to let the fans know that we really out here winning. Go listen to the old 85 South. I'm on like three, four, five, one of the, <laughs> the early ones. You and the big more than that. Big hit episode. I still wear the jacket that they take all your signed. Can I back, bro. Go on, take it out. Let's count it up. This is really hurting. Be Simone, we brought you here for your realness. Who else is going to take their weave out? I mean. Come on, man. Baby hair is still this beautiful, though. Just they, they They real? What? The baby hair. Them your real baby <laughs> hairs. You, how do you have fake baby hair? Hell, you got Shit, fake yeah, every other kind of hair. Is that a real bun? No. Man, take all that <laughs> shit out. You don't. It's like I'm gonna get you something. Man, this really, I'll show you my this hair. really got waves under this shit. Damn, that's a lot of pieces. He said, well, "What are you going through?" It was like 90 degrees today. You had that on today, huh? It was hot outside today. I know. I was supposed to take a post. Keep 20. taking this shit out so people can see how unnecessary all this shit is. You gonna <laughs> no, take? No, I look like, like fucking Michael look. Jackson without these clip-ins. What you think you look like with them in? Then <laughs> 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 take the shit out. Keep going. This is going. I've never seen this. this is great. I didn't this know. shit is amazing. Be who you are, B. Simone. Let this shit go. You're better than this. See, this is my real you hair. don't need that stupid shit. <laughs> Talking about an itch. You got 12 pieces of goddamn uh, somebody else shit on your head. <laughs> Wondering why it's itching. Hi, that it bitch who had that really is right. was under a lot of stress, so she sold her hair. Yeah. Is that real person yeah. now? Yes. It's exactly. <laughs> That's what that is God saying. Take that shit out of your head. That's your real hair. Yeah. It's amazing that your why your shit look way better than the shit on the table. It's the same. She don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> it's not the same. It's the same. Dudes, texture. we really don't give a fuck. Too, did y'all know they do that? Take I another know part you, out. Was you supposed to say that we really don't give a shit? Like this my look. hair is so short. Hey man, this podcast is for women who do shit just like that. You you put a bunch do a bunch of unnecessary shit, especially for the shit you doing. Take that bullshit out your head. I'm not telling you what to do with your life, cause I'm bald. God damn it. Guys always say we want our women natural. We want we, this, and then when we wake up we looking fucking natural, bitch, where the fuck you right. think you going? Looking right. like that with me. Right. I don't know what niggas you. Somebody told me, you that. But no. I don't know <laughs> what niggas. I'm like, what? No. Nope. You picking the wrong guy. No, guys don't talk <laughs> to me like that. But <laughs> like, I'm saying damn. that's what guys. No, act like. we don't. Yes, y'all do. 
How you gonna tell no us how we said, act? If you don't put your face on, bitch, no nigga has ever said that. Bitch, in life. uh-uh. Go bitch, get what is your in. lashes doing? The that's fuck? the problem. No, y'all we keep don't care. fucking with bitch ass niggas. But y'all giving all the girls attention. We be fucking with chicks who got fat asses and a throw a hat on like this if her hair fucked up. <laughs> that's what we. That's fuck what with. I do. I do have. It's niggas big. like us everywhere. You think we give a fuck about some hair? At the, all, not at fat all. Fat ass negates all. <laughs> Oh, bitch. Well, I don't have fat ass, so I have to wear All this. women who got fat asses, hair ain't done three fourths of the time you fucking with them anyway. She don't start getting her hair done until she almost through fucking with you. Yep. These are just facts. True. Shout out to all the women who look 10 times time, better when you get your hair braided. Y'all are the <laughs> real champions out here. Then you take them braids out, and nigga have to really decide. Can I fuck with her until she get them done again? Because she cold as fuck with her men. But with them out, she really is not spectacular. What kind of braids? The cornrows or the Box one braids, one? micro braids. Micros, the little Moesha cut. The Moesha shit. set up. You know what I'm saying? That I don't know. Micros are so the hood so classic. Played out. That's classic. Shit. Well, I'm They're just classic. saying. These are the things that happened in my life. What about the chicks with the dreads? I'm, I'm a throwback nigga. I done fucked the bitch with some crochet braids before. <laughs> that might not never happen again in the history of niggas. You doing way too better, bro. You yeah, doing way too, you, you can't fuck no crochet bro, braids. Bro, what I look not like? Now. Come on, bro. Not now, Carlos. Come on, bro. You know me better than this, man. <laughs> Carlos, you would. I've, I've done all types of You got of ghetto calls to fuck them shit, type of bitches. You got the car you drive over bro, her If house. you ain't never fucked one of them earthy ass women and smelt like shea butter <laughs> for three weeks after, you ain't going to, ex- you're not going to get my life, bro. Come on, man. Have you ever had sex with a white girl? Yes, I have had <laughs> reparations, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> You, you think it's gonna be some pussy out here that I'm not gonna experiment on? I must. What kind of white girl was it? A rich one. We <laughs> put in a big ass house that was made like a log cabin. All types of windows. Where'd y'all meet at? A sunroom. College, believe it or not. It was oh. fucking college. She had a Lexus. That was probably one of the first times I drove a, a Mercedes. I had a vision after that day. <laughs> I had a vision, bro. I would want to see this movie. Mm-hmm. Fuck white, that white boy. Well, nobody, movie, don't nobody want to hear my story for real. I want to hear it, Because, like, when I tell people I'm from Mississippi, they're like, oh, okay. They know that Mississippi is fucked up, but they don't know to what extent. You don't know the chances that I took to have to be here. I could have easily been taken out for doing shit like that. Mm. I remember you had the Mustang. I do, too. Mustang, would you? I, like got I got a lot of shit now. <laughs> That's I but I, I don't see never. Your cars on Instagram. I never flex my blessings. Yes, you do. I don't. Not no more. You posted on Instagram. That was one of them. But he'll tell you that was that was just one of them. Not no more. I have a lot of vehicles, and I'm very blessed to be able to afford the type of things that entice my interest. That's so nice. Yes, it is. I still drive a Toyota. Man, like you, you still got your the car? It's falling apart. I, it, I didn't want to tell him that because I don't <laughs> want people to think I'm starting shit. But that bitch didn't look like you drove it to Saturn and back. Oh no, my God, the left mirrors hanging off. I thought off. you would have been. I thought you would have been bought a car. How my money's going to China? That's dope. <laughs> Shout out to all the niggas who are cuff be Simone, man, to put up with her ass. She's going to be scratching and itching and burping and shit. But at, when that shit stop, boy, you going to have something. I won't act like that in front of my man. Yes, you will. I'll be That's so why you should. You know, you should. You got to be your nice hey, self. So I am. You, That's why I'm single. If the no nigga surprises. that be I'm Simone used myself. to fuck with, watch the show, hit us up. We'll bring you on and you can tell your you side better of not. the story. I will okay, deny, right. deny, deny. That's what you're supposed to do. You like supposed to do that. I don't know this nigga. <laughs> That's how you got it. What do you mean? I'm like what? <laughs> Who is this square? <laughs> what else happened, my nigga? Shout out to Will Packer, man. He got a new movie coming out with Kevin Hart and all that. And Tiffany Haddish. Tiffany Haddish. He was just named Hollywood Reporter's top 100 people in entertainment. Really? And I remember him being around Atlanta doing regular Chad shit. Chad wrote uh, Kanye moved back to Chicago. Yeah, and you know, Nick like, and Kanye beefing. I can't be. Yeah, nigga, like. Come on, see. No, Kanye. Nick is not beefing with Kanye. <laughs> Kanye beefing with Nick. Nick. Nick does not care. Hey, Nick Kanye sure gonna fade one of these niggas out here. Like y'all be acting Bruh, like that nigga gonna be in the gym. Stop playing with that Nick. That, that nigga, nigga be boxing and shit. On, I seen man. some clip. <laughs> 
Come on, Nick bro. Nick Cannon gonna sleep on these that rappers. Nick be up at four in the morning working out. You don't want no. You think Nick? you want some smoke with Nick, but that nigga like a seventh degree knife belt. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it's gonna, what with that's nigga what it's gonna nigga. take for Nick to get his proper respect. He, he not gonna have to punch a nigga. He gonna have to do a move on a nigga and be like, damn, that nigga know that Western snipe that shit. That nigga doodooed on himself, <laughs> brother. Nick <laughs> hit a nigga in the gut. Nick broke a nigga wrist. <laughs> Hit him with that hey, Steven Seagal shit. That nigga shit. will break the whole internet, nigga. <laughs> Nick Cannon snaps Kanye's neck. He's no. like, yo! <laughs> bro, that shit was gangsta. <laughs> it wasn't gangsta, but Kanye, you knew Kim had a lot of things going on. Like, bro. you knew that, bro. Nick never says anything disrespectful. He don't. He, he just gives great, he gives good advice. He tells advice. the truth. He's it like, was what? his story to tell. That's just, well, nigga, you can't tell me how to tell my side of the story. Yes, it was at my birthday party that my girlfriend threw. At the time. Well, who was it? This person. He ain't saying shit that wasn't true. I don't know what they did. I believe. Well, Kanye did it on some ho shit. It didn't, it didn't sit well Bruh. with my spirit. Yeah. <laughs> I said, what, nigga? Bruh, you gonna be mad at the shit she was doing before you got there? Yeah, like, come on, bruh. We'll, we'll, you was in a video with Ray J already. Like, chill so out. your white right. boyfriend from second grade show up. I'm like, I hell hands with her. Nah, nigga. Mm -mm. That ain't gonna sit well on your spirit. It's not gonna, I'm not gonna do a post. That's number one. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not posting about it and right. putting a caption. At what point do you not give <laughs> a, a fuck? Hashtag. You don't give a fuck. Once y'all done prayed together twice, you really don't give a do fuck. Do you have to confess <laughs> all the whole shit you did before you get married? Like, no. look, babe, before we get married, let me tell you, I was no. out here bad. No. She probably gonna know if y'all was cool enough. If you really know the person, she gonna know. You gonna mention that shit yeah. like it happens. Yeah. Yeah. I think it ha I think it casually but you don't happens have to, like, before. Go down memory lane before. What yeah. if what if some shit from your past show up and you have to explain it? Well, then it gotta get explained. Shit. Yeah. No. It might have been before you. What, what but you it, it it was all of it was before you. That's what I'm saying. It's before you. What can you do? I don't know. You know how people are. Some motherfuckers see you happy and just start throwing shit on your name. Boy. All my exes. That shit's so real. Everybody got quiet. Yeah. That's. I've been with my girls since Rockefeller was together, nigga, so I don't remember nobody else, so that's what it is. <laughs> You're fucking dead to me. That's what it is. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. So if someone... Dead. That's what I'm... That's just like some 11th grade pussy showing up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you gonna explain that? You gonna laugh... First of all, we gonna laugh at this goofball. Damn, man. You pull it up? What the... Your son graduated, bitch. What you talking about? I think that's fucked up, though, man. I think it's real <coughs> fucked up. That, that that's where we at with this shit. With what? With this whole entertainment shit. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't... I'm, I'm not even famous enough to be out here telling you who I fuck. So when I do get famous, mm -hmm. I'm not telling you either. I'm nope. not about to argue with... They're about, gonna do the come... But this is what I'm forward. saying. I'm on the pursuit of being on another level. Yes, I'm, you gonna see me on, with some motherfuckers that you don't approve of. Don't tell me about that. Oh, my homeboy used to fuck. You know shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. The you're niggas not who gonna say prove, that kind of shit, you gotta You're not gonna them. approve yeah. of this shit that I'm doing. I'm telling yeah. you. You're gonna see me with four or five bitches who just hoes. I'm telling you. That's why I got in the game. Come For on. the hoes. I'm not gonna not fuck with some hoes out here. I'm sure you had hoes before you got in the But game. I'm saying though, these are gonna be hoes that's well known hoes. They go they Instagram hoes, the fine ones. All of them. Everybody you knock them all off? You gonna you you ever be following with some hoes on Instagram? And no, you you look up? I no, sure I have don't. never been following any hoes on Instagram. You can't speak on him. Look, sometimes I be following hoes and then I look up and I see who liked the picture. I'm like, nope, I'm I'm a better nigga than him. I can't like this one. Yeah. Cause my, well, I don't know why my pastor keep liking all her pictures. <laughs> mm -mm. But niggas, I, is, I don't understand. Like, I you love can see. I'm not liking this picture. Instagram doing be liking little shit like shit. your girl can't see what you liking. That's, That's what crazy. I'm she gonna start Isn't liking. Is it crazy? It's like you did sloppy, bro. Like if you. This the thing, women are fuck with your your head psychologically. But you know you can like by looking at it like, hey, I like that, and I not I'm fucking put you. Some women won't you even argue about. Oh, I done burnt myself trying to save your life. <laughs> Some of these motherfuckers that just go back and like all the pictures that you like, so she, so you can see that she liking the same <laughs> shit that you like. That'll scare you, nigga. I think I'm getting high. My bad. Can I get high from this? Yes. <laughs> look, you look high right yes. now. Can I get high, guys? That's the movie. Yes. We got to be some more high by yes, mistake. Yes, you definitely oh, can get high. She called out her exes. Weed, weed absorbs <laughs> through your skin. Does You're, it? Yes. No, it doesn't. I'm telling you, man. 
that shit up, you're gonna be high as fuck. Especially in the leg, your legs out. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna be fucked up. Marijuana will save your marriage, that's what I'm saying. I know, man. You gotta I, keep it. I forgot you. You gotta have a girl that smoked though. Or just will hit it while she light it at least, you know, so she'll understand. That's the trick. That before in the, before you talk to me and say a lot of heavy stuff, I need to go outside real hey, quick. That's one right. thing that I did pick up from the Bobby Brown story. <laughs> if you find somebody who's into the same shit that you into, right. it'll work. No. This nigga found did out like she did story? cocaine before the <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Bro. She said, so I do coke. <laughs> That's a real compliment, I said, though. I would have took that the whole <laughs> wrong way. Like, baby, you fuck with me so much. You got to get how to do this. I, I fucks with you. Would you would you get married to your wife if you found out she was getting high right before the wedding? Like yes, because I'd be like, this hardy move about to be popping. Yes. <laughs> high, yes, not nigga. weed, though. It's going down. He's not talking about weed. I don't give a shit. You doing drugs <laughs> before the day? Yeah. Can't cool for the boy. Why, why? Oh. It's gonna be filthy. <laughs> this motherfucking head of honeymoon. Hi, you guys. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You put the weed out. Be some old trigger. My boy outside. Ah, nope. My pond outside, bro. Who outside? <laughs> Remo. Oh, hold on. We gotta take a real. <coughs> we gotta take a real big pause. Oh. No. <coughs> pause. One time. Go let him in. We gotta go do this shit I anyway. Then you gotta pee pee. <laughs> be some old, you high? No. You Simone up through there. Don't you smoke vapes? Don't you get tired of running out of vape juice, batteries, vape cartridges, oils, tips, whatever you need to smoke vape? I know you like smoking vapes. Go to avebay.com. They will make sure you have all of your vape necessities. Chargers, USB plugs, whatever you need to get your vape on. I'm here to help, baby. My name is Carlos Miller. My whole mission is to keep the party going. That's why I had to tell you about abay.com. I'm telling you to all the people who got like to blow vape and be on YouTube and all, come on, man. abay.com for all your vaping necessities. I, come on. Go now. Tell them Carlos Miller sent you and use the code SOUTHCHOW. $10 off your first order. Free shipping. Come on now. Come on.